If I want to generate a list of numbers from say 1 to 10, the quickest way I can do that in Power Query is within the curly braces, I'm going to write 1 followed by double dots and write number 10. And that's going to give me all the list of numbers from 1 to 10. Now I can change that to 1 to 100, 1 to 1000 or whatever my requirement is. So this is the quickest way and it's pretty cool, right? But what's even more cool is I can not only generate list of numbers, but I can also generate list of alphabets following the same step. I can go A, generate me a list of alphabets from A till say F, and it's going to give me A, B, C, D, A, F, right? And that's pretty cool. I can go all the way down to Z or X or Y or whatever I want. Now, I'm going to show you something even more interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a mQuery function called character from number. And I'm going to write uh, an input value of 40, uh, 48, right? And I'm going to follow the same step, double dot. And character from number, I'm going to write an input value of 57. Now this will, again, give me a list of all the number characters from 0 to 9. But how is that happening? Because I'm, I've put the value 48 and 40, 57, uh, but why am I getting 0 to 9, right? So this is something what we are exploring in this video today. And we're going to use this technique to clean our data set, which has got only one column, because I'm going to make this video as simple as possible. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all these character values, special character, the curly braces, as well as we get rid of all the uh, zeros at the front, which we already did in our previous video. Um, if you haven't watched that video, please do check out the video. I'll put the link in the description. So let's get started. Hello guys, welcome to my channel Power BI with Rosh. My name is Rosh and today we're going to do another cleaning video. I'm going to show you how we can get rid of all the characters except numbers in Power Query. If you guys don't know me, I, um, I usually post trips and tricks videos, but this video is a part of my Power Query, uh, Mastering Power Query playlist. If you want to uh, look into some cool Power Query tricks and techniques, then please do check out my playlist. And this is a second part of the video that I posted uh, last week, which was uh, uh, this one it says error handling using try and otherwise in Power Query. I'll show you the report and we're going to use the same data set today as well. You know, in that video, what I basically did was get, I got rid of those zeros at the front. And you know how we if we try to change something into a whole number and if there are character values in there then it's going to throw us an error. Uh, but we handle that error in our solution by using a technique called try and otherwise. And I'm going to show you the um, expression for our custom column. So what we did was just change the number, tried the number from material. And if it throws, throws true an error, then we just got whatever it was in the material um, uh, column, right? But in this video, though, we're going to do uh, something uh, interesting. So I've uh, trimmed the column a bit because we're only dealing with the characters and I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. So this is what we're going to do. So as you can see in my right column, there are no characters like uh, alphabets or curly braces on the right On the zeros are gone as well. So this will be our clean column and this is our unclean column. So let's get started with that. Now let's have a look uh, at our data set first. Uh, it's a very simple data set. So we've got a bunch of values with starting with zeros. We have values starting with characters or with the characters and we have a value, just one value with the special characters, uh, the curly braces, right? So the task today is to get, this is already I've shown you in my previous video um, to get rid of the zeros. Uh, but we're also getting rid of those alphabets uh, and the special characters, okay? Now, I want you to remember the thing I showed you in the intro, how we can generate list from um, 0 to 9 or alphabet list, because that's what we're going to use um, to get rid of those alphabets. And also for special characters, we're going to use the function characters from number thing, okay? And I'm going to explain how we're going to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a custom column and I'm going to name it as it is, as anything, clean column maybe, yep. 
and I'm going to use the same step that we applied in our previous video which is try and otherwise okay so what's try and otherwise if you haven't watched that video is basically it tries whatever comes after the try uh, the statement after try it uh, if it throws the errors it runs the otherwise statement otherwise it runs the try statement so I'll just show you if I try uh, to get number from the material value right it won't throw the errors for the first four values right because it can be changed into a number value but it will throw an error for the other values because it it can't be turned into a number value so I'll try to change to a number value if it throws an error then don't do anything just give me whatever it is okay and that's gonna get rid of our zeros because we changed that to a number but we still got the characters to deal with so that's step one the step two i'm going to get rid of the alphabets and if you have only alphabets in your data set now you can do something like uh, what i'm going to show you in the next step is uh, i'm going to modify the otherwise statement so what i'm going to do is use the mquery function called text.remove and it basically removes whatever you specify all right so whatever character you want to get removed or from the value so say I want to get rid of the value R then I'm just gonna go text out remove material and I want to get rid of the character R and if I apply that and it gets rid of the value R as you can see in the fifth row um, there is no R there anymore so I can now not only pass uh, one value but I can also pass another value say t okay and we can do that by enclosing them within the curly braces okay and that's uh, how we create a list in power query and that will get rid of the uh, the character t as well right so t uh, as you can see in seventh row the t is not there anymore okay now we're gonna do apply the step that we followed in our uh, in our intro which is to get rid of all the alphabets all at once so we can now pass not only like a single values or two values but all characters at once which is from a to z i want to get rid of all those characters okay so now it gets rid of all the alphabet characters from our values and that's our second step okay and now please note uh, if you are if you have like lowercase you might want to to change that to lowercase a to lowercase z or if you have a uh, both low uppercase and lowercase just do something like get rid of uppercase a to uppercase g and also get rid of lowercase a double dot and lowercase g now that will remove the lower cases as well as the uppercase uh, characters okay and we do, I don't have any lowercase so it will just show up as it is now the third step is to get rid of those curly braces which is our special characters now if you only had curly braces just the curly braces as is one special characters in your data set then you can pass like um, right left curly braces and right curly braces like that right and it will give us uh, what we want uh, for our solution but um, if there are more than one special character say uh, asterisk or underscore or um, ampersand or whatever right this won't work so we need to do something else and that's where the character from number thing that we did in our intro comes in so I'm going to do a bit I give you an explanation of what character does from numbers what's going on here okay so I've got a screenshot here so basically in uh, power query every characters that there is like zeros or a or special characters underscores or whatever they have a standard unique uh, uni character code okay and it's called UTF character set code uh, it can be it's there it might be named as unicar or unicode in the DAX you can there is a DAX function as well you can get like emojis and um, uh, uh, character from a different language uh, and so on so you can try that uh, check it out right um, but in this solution what we need is uh, if I look at my data set, we want to get rid of all the other characters except the number characters, right? 
So the number characters uh, are have the Unicode uh, 48 starting from 48 to 40, 57, right? And that's what I did in my intro is 48 to 57 generate a 0 to 9, right? So if I go say 0 to 57, it's going to give me a lot of blank, blank values and all the characters as well as the 0 to 9, right? Because from 47 to, sorry, 48 to 57, that's our number character. Now I'm going to do an interesting thing here. So what I'm going to do, if I show you the screenshot, I'm going to get rid of all the, so basically get rid of all the other characters before number 48, right, which is our zero, and also get rid of all the other characters after uh, the number 57, all right? So we're just gonna keep the number, the unique character from 50, 48 to 57, okay? So for that, I'm going to get rid of these ones. If you don't have uh, special characters, the, the one that we did just before will work for you. But if you have special characters, then let's for, uh, follow me to the next step, okay? So what I'm going to do now is from text remove, so from material, I want to remove the so character from number, which is zero, to uh, character dot number from number um, 48 was our character zero, right? So I'm going to get remove all the characters until 47. So I'm gonna write 47. And not only those ones, what I want to do also is after, from 47 to 58 is our uh, number. So what I'm going to do is also remove all the characters from 59 to say, let's go for a thousand because that should cover up all the symbols and characters that's in our keyboard, right? Um, so yeah, from 57, 58 to whatever the thousand, all the other uh, values under uh, all the other characters, okay? Now, if I apply that, now that's gonna get rid of those curly braces as well as the alphabets, okay? So, because the alphabets are like 65, 67, that falls under our exclu exclusion condition, okay? Now this is what we wanted. So I can change this column now to a text type or a number type because we are getting numbers. So I can just go for a number, replace current, and that's our final solution. And this is pretty cool. And I think uh, hopefully you got to learn something new in Power Query and we just did everything in one step. So next time, say we have asterisks or uh, any other characters other than 0 to 9 in our column, this is how we can get rid of those uh, values, so those characters from our values, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do let me know if you have any questions regarding this or anything else. Uh, leave me a comment down below because I love helping people and if you need help with anything, let me know, I can make a video or I will do reply to your comments instantly, almost instant, sorry, instantly. And yeah, do check out my channel, uh, like, subscribe and share. Um, thank you and I'll see you next time with another awesome video. Thank you very much.